Hello, dear people. Um, here we are again. My name is Volker Schmitz. This is Dr. Artur Rakimov, and this is now part three of the video about dysautonomia tests. And yeah, now we want to discuss a test so how we can test uh, how well the parasympathetic nervous system is functioning or part of the nervous system. And maybe you can tell us uh, about this kind of test. So, this, uh, this is another DIY test, so we discussed already two of them before for general stress fatigue and then for sympathetic overactivation. Now we are going to discuss a test for the parasympathetic. So parasympathetic nervous system is kind of more relaxing nervous system which are responsible for digestion, for transition to calmer states of the body so when you don't have like requirements to do physical exercise where, where you are not in a state of stress or fight or flight. So kind of relaxation going backwards. And therefore, in order to do this test, we do the opposite transition. From standing up, we're going into lying down position. <laughs> so somebody sense, yeah. stands up. Yes, because the, the, this is the situation when the parasympathetic needs, down, needs yeah. to get into the action yeah, and sure. to slow down our heart rate, yeah. to change our blood pressure and to change like other body functions so that the body kind of in the horizontal state in more relaxing, more calm state. So let's say a person is standing up and his or her heart rate, well, for example, let's say about HTP I mean, like standing up, it's kind of about, let's say, average number as an example. Now, if this person going into the horizontal position, uh, virtually in 3-5 seconds, nearly as soon as the person is in the horizontal position, takes like 1-2 seconds to lie down, and uh, we are going to continue monitoring heart rate, pulse. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Uh, and the pulse, of course, starts to decrease. Sure. 5-10 seconds, 15, it's going down, down, down. Let's say uh, the long-term value is going to be 60. Okay. This is what we expect, yeah. like in 3-5 minutes it would be 60. Yeah. But this would ha what would happen with a normal person, with a normal response, the heart rate go gets down to 60 and then stays, stays at 60. 60. Yeah. 59, 61, like here at plus minus 1. Of course. Very normal. But Small movement then or if, whatever. If, yeah, just maybe mistake of the measurements. But now what happens next when the parasympathetic nervous system is hyperactive, the heart rate goes down too much. Mm -hmm. So it gets down maybe to 55. Mm -hmm. And in severe cases, it can probably go to up to like 53, 52, which is really low heart rate. Okay. And then it increases back to 60 because, so parasympathetic system is overactive. That means it drives body into deeper state of relaxation that the body kind of needs or deserves. Mm -hmm. And then the sympathetic needs get into the action kind of to compensate mm -hmm. and starts to increase heart rate back to 60. Okay. So as overall, we got kind of a depression uh, hole at the bottom. But isn't it that have what, what yoga masters want to reach, like heartbeat sometimes at least, there's some yoga exercises, so get down with the heartbeat and some people even say... Heart rate is, gets, gets down. But it gets up then. Very low. This yeah, is, the problem is the when, problem it, is when it gets up, up so it gets down for, yeah. let's say, 10, 15, 20 seconds, yeah. so it stays low for a short yeah. period of time and then it increases. Okay. Because, yeah, when people are really healthy, sometimes it can be athletes, uh, not As necessarily well, yeah, sure. super healthy, yeah. because according to Buteka, it depends like, on breathing, yeah. yoga people can achieve super health, or people who do breathing retraining by slowing down their breath. Oh, so that, that would be the same for a person that say who has 40 beats of heartbeat for, for super sports. And uh, sports, I had a lot of friends. Yeah. I had friends with uh, some some of my uh, good friends would have heart rates 32. I uh, had 30. Uh, yeah. A couple of my friends would would have heart rate in line position 26, 28. But what's which is very the same effect, yeah, it goes down. It would be staying horizontal, okay. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cool. For, but if you don't have parasympathetic overactivation. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So for parasympathetic autonomous nervous system overactivation, we have this depression, so the opposite mm -hmm. effect. And uh, like in my sport experience, that was actually for people who do uh, endurance type of sports, cross-country skiers, runners, cyclists, triathlon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very common that we have very long sessions and it can be swimmers, can be another like group. Yeah, because train for this, hours, this, yeah. this okay. probably like yeah, Twice a day. five, six hours yeah. a day often the, on, at the Olympic or World Champion level. And what happens for, them, for this type, uh, for these groups of people, this uh, parasympathetic overactivation, it's going to be actually the main problem. 
because during especially basic period when we prepare and there are like several months before mm -hmm. most important competitions, we train a lot. That would be the most difficult period in the year of uh, period of preparation. And what happens there, it's very easy to get this type of stress because we do a lot of monotonous work. Mm -hmm. So, And uh, in my experience, I probably had it two or three times at least this type of stress because we, we were doing both tests, going into horizontal position, yeah. standing up, and then, and then going yeah, the, the vertical into horizontal position, measuring the degree of uh, parasympathetic overactivation because for some reasons, like I, I did not mention this fact, I could not actually find at all anything in the Western literature among Western like coaches, athletes, or even yes. doctors in relation to this very simple DIY test how to measure parasympathetic overactivation. Whereas in Soviet Union, I knew it was so common among all type of like different sport discipline, mm -hmm. top level coaches, uh, Soviet Union, HD, like HDs late in Russia, 90s. It, it was still, it was still like recently I was looking online and uh, still a lot of resources in, in Russian where both doctors and coaches describe how to do this test and what is the meaning and what, what you can do about that. Now, in terms of solution for this test, it's kind of uh, for parasympathetic nervous uh, system stress, people would need something um, to maybe to make them their life more active, more kind of uh, to create certain uh, uh, activity in terms of having like something like games and having also more rest. So, and that would help to solve relatively quickly. I would say in most cases, in two, three, four days, the effect can disappear yeah. completely because this test are easy to repeat. Maybe a more stressful woman or something like this that will keep them more sympathetic state. <laughs> yeah, it can be, yeah, it can be like kind of difference. It depends on the person. Sometimes uh, even having coffee, tea, yeah. like, uh, for example, this type of things. The good stuff. Not necessarily. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, with time, yeah, if, if you do, if you discontinue doing monotonous work for many hours every day, because it can appear in, also in some other groups of people, not necessarily athletes only. But I would say for athletes, it probably would be statistically much more common because they are involved in this type of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you.